Hey, my name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. And it's great that you're watching this video because today I'm going to tell you and explain to you why I turned down one of the biggest opportunities I've had for the past years and what the power is of you knowing exactly what your why is, who your ideal niche is, your ideal client, and how that creates focus. So yesterday I had a conversation with a, a large organization in my country and they're building something new. They're building a franchise. Um, I cannot speak more about it because it's on, uh, under a non-disclosure agreement. Um, but I felt very, very flattered that they uh, wanted me to, um, to go over there and have a conversation. And we did have a great conversation. And many times during the conversation, I was very, very tempted uh, to say yes, because I love the way they set up the organization. I love the people behind it. Um, I love the idea. Um, and in the end, uh, we decided it wasn't gonna work, uh, especially for me. And yeah, when it's not working for me, it's not working for them either. And the reason is that I know exactly who my ideal audience is. My ideal audience are business women who are on their own, have a really big plan and vision for their, uh, for their business, for their clients, and even for their industry. And they really need to start creating a business, uh, not doing anything on their own anymore. And that's holding them back because they don't know how to do that. Um, and my mission is that when I help these women create bigger businesses, they can create more impact in the world. They, they will definitely make the changes they so desperately want to make. So for me, for example, one of my missions is that I really want to um, create awareness about the word business coach, how often it's been misused. Um, that's my contribution of changing the industry, but that's not for now. Um, if I am not helping these women to scale and grow their businesses, uh, they are not going to make a big difference. They are not going to make a big impact in their industry. And then things will remain the way they are. And that's usually very masculine. And I'm not saying that it's specifically done by men, but most often it, it is. And Dear men, if you're watching, I love men, I'm not a man hater, uh, but doing business is not only about the numbers, the statistics, about the money, about the outcomes. Um, it's about people. It's about who you help and who you serve and how much impact you can make. At least that's one of my uh, ideas. Um, and the reason why we were not a good match is because I also had to start working with men. And I love working with men, <laughs> but I made a decision at some point. I made a decision that I am there for the businesswoman who's out there on her own, who has a business or wants to create a bigger business and who really doesn't know how to move to the next step. Um, and I knew if I was going to take on this opportunity. Of course, I would have to invest, but that's always when, you, when you're in a business. Um, I knew they, they were going to give me a lot of leads. I would not have to do marketing anymore. I would only have to do the sales conversations and coaching my clients. Now, that really is an easy business. Um, and yet, I had to decline because I know who my audience is. I know that I'm not only in here to make money, I'm also in here to change something. Um, so if this resonates with you, <clears throat> please make sure, oh, and there's one more thing, this creates focus. So many opportunities come in your um, hemisphere, probably daily, uh, but do you have to take up on all these opportunities? You need to know who your audience is, what your goals are, and if it matches uh, with, with the direction you're moving.
For example, I would have to give, give up basically nearly everything I'm doing at the moment. And if I would have only been in there for the money, I would have taken up on this opportunity because it really would have been easy money. And in half a year time, I would have made easily half a million a year without any doubt. But that I, I realized that that's not why I'm in business anymore. I used to. Yeah, I have to admit, but it's not. Um, so please make sure that you really know why from the core of your heart, why you are doing business and who you help or who you serve. Because many opportunities, I see it with clients of mine. Uh, one of my clients has a specific niche and then she gets dragged into other clients and other people. And every time I have to say to her, listen, yes, I know opportunities arise every day, but stick to your commitment, stick to your niche, stick to the people you can serve, because that's what you get really good at. Um, and the reward for this is that after the conversation, I had a call with a, a new behind the scenes uh, business magazine for business women, an online magazine, which will be released on the 8th of March on Women's Day. And uh, they wanted me as one of their um, fixed columnists. So, you know, if you close one door, another door opens. That's usually how it happens. That's the energy. Uh, I firmly believe in that. So um, I wish you all the best. If you want to uh, have a conversation with me, please feel free to uh, reply to this message uh, or send me an email. It's behind this video and uh, we will get in touch and um, maybe I can help you too. If not, just stay tuned for the next video because you're very welcome to join and learn because I love to give. Bye bye!